Well, I mean, you're going to face the finals? Well, it sounds like it's going to be Brian Howe, because we mentioned Ole Fleanders may be having some problems. We documented the problems that he had. And indeed, it looks like Brian Howe will single into the final stage. Just down the road, Auto Club Dragway at Auto Club Speedway. Shoot, we could be there in 10 minutes. Yeah, it's not too far away. The big circle track over off to the side. The drag strip has been closed for a little while while it underwent a renovation project trying to be more friendly to the neighborhood. They spent a lot of money, put up a huge sound wall so that the drag strip wouldn't bother the other neighbors. This place is set to reopen here. And I believe next month, I don't have the exact date, but I can tell you that's great news for Southern California drag racers. They'll be back on track at Auto Club Dragway before too long. That's cool. I want to thank those folks on Twitter that were trying to keep us updated on what was going on with Ulf Leanders, Ulf and Yanni Lindbergh. Coming from all the way in Sweden, they got together, tried to get that car put back together, but it didn't work. One of the big differences between racing over in Europe and racing here is NHRA runs a tight show on Sunday. They've got quicker turnarounds, quicker times that the car has to get back. Obviously, if there's nothing more than routine maintenance, most of the teams can make it. But when you have a bang like that, you have to go through, you have major work. Sometimes the teams that aren't experienced in turning these cars around in an hour just flat run out of time. So it's a free pass. We'll try to go better than 5.72.9. Which will learn Brian Howe lane choice. Through the tire shake. Looks pretty clean. 5.58.5. And yeah, Brian Howe will have the lane choice over Sean Bellamere. Bellamere looking for his first win ever. Brian looking for his first Winter Nationals trophy. Miles and Allen. Watch this as the butterflies open on top of the injector. Those lines up on top spraying alcohol in. That helps keep the blower rotors cool. Great shot. HD. Look at those wheels up. Look at that tire shake. I don't believe the butterflies ever did close, however. Brian said last round he's got his hot rod back. I'm starting to believe him. And Sean Bellamere, you said that you drove like an idiot on that one, but you had a 008 light. What did you feel? Um, you know, it just we're trying to be really focused today. I mean, we've been to a bunch of finals and haven't taken one of these things home. And we're racing for a lot of reasons, a lot of sponsors, and uh, trying to get this thing started off right. But, yeah, I mean, I felt like I left good and went out and shook, and I pedaled it, and I was doing just fine. And then it, it went out, and, like, the shift light didn't work. And I, I went, well, I guess I'll just pedal it again. <laughs> so um, I didn't drive real well. Sometimes you get lucky, and, uh, hey, one more. And, uh, and our, our crew member over there is shaving his beard, and that's what we want. All right. We're going to the final. I, we mentioned that final. This is how it stacks up. You can write down all the numbers at home and figure out that Brian has that main choice. I, I know a little bit about these cars. I've never heard anybody say I tried to fix the shift light by pedaling. Hmm. Can't say as I've heard that either, Jamie. And Brian, you said not bad, huh? Going on to the final round, you've never won here at the Winter Nationals. How is this event different? Oh man, it was it was awesome. Uh, the track went, the car went down the track, and we tried to detune it just a little bit, and uh, it still shook. So you know, we'll go back and see if we can pick it up a little bit for the final round. But uh, to repeat, similar numbers, man. We're very happy with that, Ross and Sean Brown and Brian Bear. They're doing a great job. My wife Mindy and. My son Dylan's cleaning the oil pan and helping now at 11 years old. So thanks to Omax. Um, 